Hi! Today I am going to do a video on some new dolls that I got. But first, I want to show you one of my old dolls that I've had for a while since I got in the year 2000, but she's really a lot, a lot older. And if you watch my Elf videos, you've probably seen her before. This is Clarice. And I'm not really sure what year she's from, but um, when I bought her at the Antique Mall in Los Angeles, California, it said that she was an old Russian doll. So that was the only information I had. And the people didn't really know like what year she was from, but she has like a cloth body and she's stuffed with wood chips. And you can see them up here if you look in her leg right there. But she's got wood chips in there. And then, you know, her, her head is, it's getting kind of cracked. You know, it's old. It was always pretty old. Um, but the reason I got this doll is because um, I was in film school at the time and I was making a, a movie about a monster who stole children's dolls and toys and took them to his monster lair. And so he had a collection of all the dolls that he'd gotten and toys that he'd gotten over the years and, and Clarice was one of the toys that he stole from someone a very long time ago. And the other reason I liked her a lot is because she she looks like really worn out, you know? She looks like really old and she looks like somebody like really loved her a lot and I think that makes her more special, that she was loved by somebody. I, I like imagine some little girl like playing with her all the time. Like, you know, somebody kept her long enough to where she ended up in an antique mall and she didn't end up in the trash. So. Somebody must have loved Clarice a lot. Now, I love Clarice, so I'm really happy to have her. And um, and I found some other dolls that were similar to Clarice, and I'll show you one of those. Um, this is a doll that I was just browsing somebody's eBay shop, and I saw it. And um, she's kind of made like Clarice, but she looks newer. But she has the cloth body with the sawdust and... Um, you know, they're kind of jointed on the same little hooks in her leg. And so I was like, wow, I've never seen another doll made like that. So um, I was like, I'll just buy her because I think she's really cute. And so I was like, wow, they, they look kind of similar. And I didn't know where she was from. So I, um, you know, the website didn't have that much information about this. It said she was a doll. But I posted it on my Facebook, and then one of my Facebook friends that knew more about dolls said that she looked like a Polish doll. And then I started researching Polish dolls, and then it turned out that she had a stamp on her leg right here that says Poland. You can't really see it too well. It's kind of faded, but um, she has a stamp that says Poland. So she was made in Poland, and her face is made out of something called celluloid that almost feels kind of papery, like cardboardish, but not really like better than cardboard. But just, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it's not like plastic like dolls are made out of today. So, um, yeah, they were made in Poland and celluloid was used up until the 1940s, sometimes into the 50s. Um, and then they started using just the regular plastic that we're used to today. But this was an earlier form of making the doll. So I'm guessing she's from about the 1940s, but I'm not really sure. And she looks a lot older, so I don't know. They started making celluloid in the 1870s, I believe, I think. And I'm not sure if she's celluloid or something else, but she might be celluloid, I guess. I mean, she's made, like, really similar to these, but she's just so much older. Um, so I got um, another doll because once I found out she was Polish, I was like, oh, I want another Polish doll because I thought they were really cool. And so there were all sorts of them. So I got this little Polish doll, and so see they're friends, and um, the reason I got this one is because I thought she looked like me, doesn't she look like a little girl version of me? She has like my favorite hairstyle, and you know, I'm not wearing that hairstyle right now, but I wear my hair in braids a lot if you watch my videos. I have braids a lot, so I thought she was really cute. And if you look at her dress, it's like really faded, but um, if you turn it around, you can see that it was really purple, you know, but, um, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it kind of gives them character because, you know, they're old, they're not new, and so it's kind of, I like vintage stuff, you know, I like to find old things. It's, it's fun to do, and it's like things that they don't make this kind of doll anymore, so 
Things kind of fun to have them, and they're not really that expensive on eBay. They're like between like twenty and thirty dollars usually. You can get them on Etsy too. I've seen them on there. So if you want one, you could just search like um, vintage Polish doll or vintage Polish sawdust or celluloid doll, and you'll see like tons of these things, tons of them, and a lot of them have the braids like this. They have blonde ones. There was even one with pink hair that I saw and one with kind of grayish white hair that I saw and there's a lot a lot of blonde ones and uh, I just think they're really cute and so I wanted to have some little Polish dolls. So um, here they are, my little Polish dolls. Except she might be Russian or she could be Polish and ended up in Russia somehow and then ended up in an antique mall in America. Who knows? But they're all from either Russia or Europe or something, you know. So I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!